M0 FXP, welcome back to my videos on the Yesu FTM150. Let's have a go at updating the firmware. So to look at what firmware you have, just hold down the function, turn to number 60, uh, all the way down, like so, and then press the big right knob, and we've got version 102 for the main, and the sub is 101. Now the new firmware, which is here, and the link is in the description, we download the instructions, firmware upgrade manual, click that, and it goes here. Let's have a quick look. And it says 1.03 on the main, just says it here, and subversion 1.02. So there is a change. Now you're going to need an SD card in to do this. So if we back out and I've got an, a normal SD card just pushed into the, the side here. You just press, make sure you can see this. And it goes with the, the gold side facing you. Just gently put it in there and then gently it will click in. If it feels stiff, stop because you're doing it the wrong way around. So that's in. Then hold down the F and what you want to do is format it. So go up until you get to, let's find it, 49. So there's your information back up. Anyway, 49, press, and then go left to format. Click OK. OK? Uh, but we're not going to do that because we've already done it. Then what I would do is press, go up to backup. That you can look at your information, the kind of card you got in there, which mine's just an 8GB cheap card. Back. But go up to backup, press, and I would do a save. So go right to SD card. All. Turn to the left, click all. And that way it sort of puts all the files on your card that you're going to need. Then grab yourself your little uh, adapter, just the usual one that you would use. And put the um, SD card into it, plug it into your PC. Just wait for, wait for it to finish saving. And that's it. It says completed, and then I recommend you turn it off and then take out so, and then so you can put it back on and then pop it into your PC. So I tend to create a new folder. So I go new, right click on my desktop, just space here, folder, new there, and then folder, just so I can put in the files. And I'll type in and I'll call the file. Let's call it 150F for now for firmware. Just so I can find things. There you are. We've got the file created. 150F. Download the actual firmware update by going back to Yesu. Click Files. Scroll right down to the bottom. And then you're going to have one there that's called Firmware Upgrade. The actual software. There it is there. Firmware Update. Click. And it's gone up to my downloads just here. And then with all your instructions there. Of course, I don't read the instructions. I just do it. <laughs> anyway, um, there's the file that we need. OK, we're going to double click. And you've got the sub and the main firmware just here. So I'm just going to extract them to that folder I created. So click Extract. I go to Desktop. And I find that folder that we called 150. There it is there. Click OK. So we know where everything is that we need. So now we've got the USB stick plugged into my PC. If we go to the yellow folder at the bottom here. And we look for that. Go to PC. And you should see it plugged in. And there it is there. So these are all the files, um, you know, on my SD card that I've saved. So we just need to put these files in a place where when we put the SD card back in the radio, it's going to see them. Now, in case people ask, uh, what is the firmware improvements? It says here, the firmware update includes major changes in functions below. Auto ASP mode and one touch switching between ASP and Super DX. And then it goes, oh, it's quite, quite um, a lot to read there. There's also 
switchable between frequency display and name tag display on the PMG screen. So, you know, check it out. Uh, so let's get these files in the right place. You've got instructions just here as well with the download. Look, see that? I'm just double clicking it and then I'll move it where you can see it. Uh, lots of notes. Thoroughly read the instructions, of course, just like I do. And then I'm just going down to see where we need to put these files. It says put them in, click FTM 150, then back up and then put the both files in there so it can see them. So all I'm going to do is click my little files here. There's my FTM 150. I'm going to double click that. Now I'm going to go back up and I'm going to pop the files in here. Look, it's already got some save stuff I put in there. Right, so there they are. And I'm just literally going to drag them in here. So we go to the main, chunk, the sub, chunk. That's it. Then it's always recommended to eject. So you click it and go eject and then we're going to get that back in the radio and of course get a good make sure you uh, don't turn the radio off when you're doing this and then we're going to get the SD card and just plonk it back in I recommend you turn it off first but anyway so it's in there so now we're going to hold down the F Actually, no, we're not. We're going to go into firmware mode. Let me just uh, do that correctly. Now, mine's a brand new radio, so I don't need to back up. But you should back your radio up first. That little backup file that you saw, save it somewhere if you've got lots of memory channels. So to go into firmware mode, you turn it off. Like so. Off completely. Hold down the SDX and turn on. And then you've got, you know, you can cancel it or not. But I'm not going to cancel it with the left button here. I'm going to click update. And I'm going to go left. I'm going to go update. Left, update. And it's doing it. And it's do it is showing sub and main going well. So, you know, I, th I think what it is. If you're like me and you love radios packed with features, I would say you're going to get the one, the 500 or the 5100, yeah? Um, but there's a lot of operators out there. They just, they just, they're not interested in C4FM. It's like it's done it. So they go for a radio like this, which is a beautiful dual band, cross band radio, PMG, band scope, air band, ream band, GMRS, FRS, all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to find out, but I think this one in the USA um, does, um, does 220. So we'll turn it back on and then we're going to factory reset it. Um, so we'll just hold it again. And we'll go down to 60, that 62, press left, click OK. Ooh, it's gone orange now. It's done. Factory reset done. Very nice. It's beautiful, isn't it? my local repeater and so the idea now is that we've now got the option and we've just selected it for auto you know sdx i'm just pressing it okay and then if, if we do, what was the other one? The PMG. We haven't put any in there yet. But we've now got auto PMG, which is selectable. I, I think I'll do a completely separate video on it, but you saw me go into it. So, yeah. I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? That's all I can say. It just really is. Um, or... Oh. 
three, four. Like so. That's my node. And um, thanks for watching. I'm just learning. Please don't think that I'm the professional or I'm an expert on this because I 1 million percent I'm not. I just do it. I dive in. I don't give up. I do read the manual, but not as much as I should. I do really appreciate you watching me do it. I'm always very pleased um, when people watch my videos um, uh, because I'm helping me if that helps others excellent and i i spend hours and hours doing it i'm lucky i work from home i have done since i was 46 i'm now uh, 57 um but i i spent most of my life working very long hours and i have a big family so a lot of pressure but in my sort of later years in life i've turned my hobby into um my daily existence and how lucky am i at that Buy my wife a coffee. Have you seen how amazing she is? Buy her a coffee and she'll be... And I do tell her, when you buy a coffee for her, I always say, someone just bought you a coffee. And uh, yeah, if you saw her, you'd buy her five. Seven, three, take care. All the best. Thank you very much.